hi everyone welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while sorry about not having a video this past saturday um i have been kind of out of pocket three out of the four weeks of the month of february um i think i guys i think i told you guys my mom had surgery at the end of january it was supposed to be just a real quick um surgery one day spend the night in the hospital that night and then go home the next day and it didn't really happen that way my poor mama has been through the ringer she is much better now. She is home, but we have been up there helping them out um, while she has been recovering and all that kind of stuff. So if you would leave her some well wishes down in the comments, that would be great. Um, and I thank you all for hanging in there with me this month while we kind of juggle things around like we're not used to doing. So this video, we're going to um, talk a little bit about the P31 challenge that we're doing, or at least that I'm doing on this channel for me and my family for the year of 2023. It's one of my New Year's goals. I guess you could call it that. I don't really do resolutions. I'm just going to try it for one calendar year and see how well I can do. So a little bit of background. P31 stands for Proverbs 31 because that's where I'm kind of drawing my inspiration from for this challenge, talking about the virtuous woman and how she works with her hands and she rises while it's yet night and she feeds her household and she's not afraid of the snow and so on and so forth. Not making a Bible lesson out of this. You guys can go and look it up and read it for yourselves. Just a little bit of context as to how I came up with the name for the challenge. So I have not updated you guys fully on January or February, now that February has come to an end and it's March 1st. How is it March 1st? I don't, this year is just going by. It's already March the 1st. So I'm going to show you how I'm keeping up with it. We're going to go over how we have done so far for January and February. I would love to know if you are doing this with me, how are you doing? Are you keeping up with it? How are you keeping track? Are you doing it the way I'm doing it? Old school, pencil, paper, receipts, that kind of thing? Or are you making a spreadsheet? Because I'm not good with stuff like that. I'm not tech savvy, you guys. But paper and pencil doesn't crash, right? Computers crash. So here's how I'm doing it. I'm taking an envelope, a regular plain letter envelope. And I write the month and the year on it. I already have marches ready to go. And I'm keeping track of... When I go to the grocery store, you guys see on my shop with me videos that I have make a list and I write out the item and then I make columns for Kroger, Costco, Sam's, Walmart, and I price out the item for each thing and then make my list for each store based on where that each item is the lowest price or the best deal. So I'm at the end of those shopping trips, I'm writing up. I'm adding them up. What was the total that it, I could have spent that it was worth? Okay, so if I have um, an item at Sam's is a dollar, at Walmart it's 95 cents, at Kroger it's a dollar 20, and at, at Costco we'll say it's 98 cents. Then I'm gonna say that it's worth a dollar 20. It's the most expensive because if I had bought it at Kroger, while I was at Kroger, like if I did all my shopping in one store, that's what I would have paid for it. Okay. And then I figure out what I did pay, like out of pocket that I it actually cost me. And then what I saved the difference between the two numbers. Does that make sense? And then I added all up what it, what I could have spent, what I did spend and what I saved for each trip. Okay. So for January, I have and then I staple them all together okay and then I fold the receipts or staple the receipts for this shopping trip so like here's Kroger and Walmart and Costco my three receipts four receipts Sam's Kroger Walmart and Costco was this shopping list Okay, so that I can verify my math if I need to. Fold those all up inside of there. And then here's this shopping trip that I did not save my receipts for because this was the beginning of the year. I was trying to figure out how to do it. And then as I'm getting gas, I'm saving, um, when it says, do you want a receipt when you get gas? Yes, I want a receipt. Two reasons. One, so I can do the math as to how much I saved at the pump. And then two, I scan it in my Fetch Rewards app 
because I get points on that too. So if you have fetch rewards, make sure you're getting gas receipts because that's points that you're missing out on if you're not scanning gas receipts. It's at least 25 points right there. So this is 50 points in fetch rewards right here. If you don't have fetch rewards, I will try to remember and leave it in the link in the description below. Leave a link to, or it's not a link. It's, um, I have a code. So I think you get, if you sign up with that code, I think you get is it 2,000 points right off the bat, like bonus points? I can't remember. See, 2,000 or 4,000. I can't remember. And then you turn in your points at the end of whenever you want to, and you turn them in for like gift cards or, you know, all kinds of different things. I use mine. I save mine up all year, and then I turn them in around October, November, and put them on gift cards and use those gift cards to buy Christmas with. Also, this is just groceries. This is just simply like grocery stuff, okay? You guys see what I get on my shop with me? That's that kind of stuff. I'm not including clothing, shoes, um, that kind of thing. Stuff for around the house, home decor, anything like food, um, household cleaning products, laundry detergent, air filters for the house, um, you know, those kinds of things. That's what this is. Now I'm counting up the money that I saved on the gas, but I'm not including how much I spent on the gas in this total right here. Okay. So $1,143.76 worth of food items, household items. I ended up spending $488.20. I think that's a two. It's either a two or a seven. And then I saved $655.56 for the entire month of January. So I saved more than I spent, plus $9.70 on gas, uh, another $10.03 on gas. And then um, on my Ibotta app, I was able to get back $13.05 on my Ibotta that I will get later that I can cash out later. So that comes to a grand total, counting everything together, of $675.29 that I saved us in the month of January. Not bad. Now, we have the month of February, okay? Now, like I said, just told you, I was out of town, me and the kids, and Jason part of the time, uh, three out of the four weeks in February. So I did not get to do typical grocery hauls the last two weeks of, of February. We were up at my mom and dad's house and it was just kind of like, you know, every couple of days I would go and get a few things here and a few things there. So I just saved my receipts as I went and just did it that way because it was just out of the ordinary and you just roll with the punches, right? So, but I still did really good. I'm so proud of myself. So for the whole month of February, I got $1,367.10 worth of groceries, but I only spent $835.57, therefore saving $531.53. Plus I saved $7.31 on gas, and then I am going to go ahead, it's not food items, but it is money that I saved and I was really, 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 really excited about it. I had to go to one Walmart up there by them and because mom asked me to go to that specific Walmart and I ended up finding these. I walked in there and there was just clearance, like the whole store. I don't, it wasn't like a clearance rack. It was every section of the store just had clearance stickers. Just, you just had to find them. So I ended up finding this, um, Polo, Ralph Lauren Polo brand, not just Walmart brand, of little boys undershirts that um, is a five pack. It's not a three pack. Um, it was $9.98 and they had it on clearance for $3. So I counted that. And then I found this really cute top that I thought would be cute for Bailey. And it was $16.98. And I paid $3 for it. And a pair of jeans for me that they're too short, but I think I'm going to like cuff them and do something to make them like cute, like capri length, wide leg capris, if I can make them work, that were $12 and I paid $1. $1. So counting all of that up that I saved on those clothes, just those three items of clothes, I saved $33.84 on just three 
those three items right there. So I was so excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in because that was a big deal to me. So I'm adding it in. So all in all, for the whole month of February, the grand total of saved was $572.68, bringing the total so far for the year of 2023, the accumulative total between those two months is $1,000. $247.97. I don't think that's too bad. Um, so we will see what March brings. We will see what April brings, Lord willing, if we see those months. And we're just going to keep track of it. And I will check in with you every couple of months or so. I have my March envelope ready. And I'm just going to keep them just like this. January, February, March. Ta-da! That's how I'm doing it. And you saw on the inside. So I hope that helps you maybe um, come up with a system yourself or however you want to do it. Um, I did just not show you. So February's contents are, see here's the receipts for this shopping trip. And that's how I'm doing it, like this, or at least trying to. Adding it all together, doing all the math. And then here is this one. See how I'm writing what, what it's worth and what I spent, and then I'm attaching my receipts to it. Um, and then these receipts are my gas receipts for the whole month. And then these are the receipts that I just couldn't, I just kept up with what, you know, like I said, it was a crazy month when I would just go here, go there. I just had a few receipts from that and I just kept up with them. And then I wrote on the actual receipts like this to figure out how much I spent versus how much I saved. Had I gone to Walmart or had I gotten it somewhere else or had it not been on sale? There was a lot of good deals. I scored some cereals for $1.29 that were normally $3.99. I scored some, um, or when I got home, I got some oatmeal, instant oatmeal that was $3.49 and I paid $1.29 for that. So I stocked up on that and some tuna fish that I stocked up on. It was on sale for 79 cents, so I grabbed it all up. So that's kind of what I spent my those those receipts on. Just stuff that we needed in the day-to-day, -day, like another gallon of milk, a thing of bread, stuff like that. But then also when I saw deals when I was over there in that territory, I grabbed them up to bring them back home with me. So never, ever go into a store without checking the clearance or seeing what they have as a deal because you may not have that at your local store. Does that make sense? So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. And I just want to say a quick thank you for all the love and all the support that you have shown me over this first year of being a YouTuber. And if you're still watching at the end of this video, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification thing on, the little bell that you click so that it'll notify you when I post a video or when I go live, because we're going to go live on... Saturday, March 18th, the day after things after St. Patrick's Day, probably at eight o'clock um, Central Time PM that night. And we're just going to have a get to know you session because I would love to get to know more about you and hear from you where you live, things that you are into, your interests and all that stuff because we love to visit over here. So we're going to say good night and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.